Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here and welcome back to another episode of this Football Manager 2020 save here with FC20. Uh, it's not going to get old saying that. It's not a complete tongue twister for me. Uh, but in this episode, we'll go through the games that have been going on off camera and we will play against Sparta. Hopefully get a victory. So after that famous victory against Feyenoord, if you didn't see it, go back and watch the last episode. Why haven't you watched the last episode yet? It was a brilliant result. I was really happy with it. Uh, we played against RKC. I have no idea what that stands for. I'm sure someone will. And it was a decent victory. This kind of tiki-taka style, which we're going to highlight maybe in today's episode, is just it's just working. Uh, Serrano got his first goal for the club as well, which was really nice to see the youngster. A uh, very dominant performance. Not too many on target, which was a little bit of a worry and I thought we'd have a little bit more possession than what we did. Nevertheless, a victory. We followed that result with a loss, but it was to PSV, and I feel like a 1-0 defeat to PSV isn't the end of the world. We played okay, a little bit lacklustre, didn't really have much to offer going forward, although we did have five on target. When we did have opportunities, we seemed to be getting them on target. Um, but yeah, just wasn't a great performance. Away against PSV was always going to be a difficult game. This was not one that I went into and went, oh, we're going to win this game. In fact, I felt like we was definitely going to lose. Um, and that's exactly what happened. But at least we put up a good fight. We followed that up with another disappointing result, a nil-nil against Groningen. To be honest with you, neither team was good. It was really, really poor. The game was not interesting to watch. It was over very quickly on extended highlights. And uh, although our team seemed to play better, going forward, our for no, more forward-thinking players did not play well. Uh, Ignacio didn't have a good game either, which was a bit of a shame. Um, I'm looking at rotating him and uh, Adriano a little bit more because Ignacio's had some poor performances now. But again, Busquets, he's he's really the spine of this team. He really is. He's fantastic. But yeah, disappointing draw. You really do need to follow a draw and a loss with a victory. And we got it. We beat William 2 or Tay. I'm, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I've been looking. I still don't get it. So I'm just going to say William 2. Uh, but it was, a di it was a difficult game, really. The result of 3-0 does not really reflect the match. If you look at the match stats, they had 15 shots and 10 on target. We actually only had three on target. We just scored every single time we had a shot on target. It was pretty impressive. Adriano scored. Espinosa's goal was beautiful. Um... So, yeah, I mean, it was just good. This was the first game where we tried inverted wing-backs, trying to play into the tiki-taka style. So I went with inverted wing-backs, and I don't know. We got a 3-0 win, so I'm not going to complain, but when you look at the match stats, it wasn't comfortable at all. So, I mean, that leads us very nicely into today's game against Sparta. I am... In fact, extremely impressed with how the league is going, uh, but it is very close. So there is no doubt in my mind that I will happily take ninth or eighth or seventh place this season. I'm not expecting us to finish in this top four situation that we're in now. Uh, in fact, I think we'll drop off once we start playing some of the bigger teams. I think we're going to get con consistent defeats against the bigger teams. But hopefully we can beat teams like Sparta today and we'll bag another good victory. I am a firm believer of when your squad wins and there's no issues, you don't change the team. But of course, there's an issue. We're going to have to replace Lang. But I can't think of anyone better to replace Lang than Nassi. Uh, Mazala, Mazala. We're going to get Nassi in the team for today's game. Um, I'm sticking with Adriano. He scored. If he scores, he's going to play. Um, apart from that, it is, as you see on the screen, let's get a W. Okay, they're playing a little bit of an interesting formation. It looks like they're playing two DMs. I wonder if they're going double Segunda Volante. We like that formation. It's actually really good. I need to make a variation of that again at some point this year's... Uh, oh, well, on this year's game. Uh, we certainly don't have the players here for that, though, I don't believe. I don't recognize any players on the team. I'm not sure if Sparta are a good team or not. I don't think they are. We'll tell all the players that we've got all the faith in the world. We'll send our assistant to that. We don't need to be uh, wasting our time. And let's get the game underway. And hopefully we have another good performance. Um, I'd like them to get less chances than William did. Uh, because it was a little bit shaky at points. We just kept scoring in every highlight we had. But then I was nervous that we was going to concede in every other. Really not much to say about this match so far. It's been... Pretty disappointing as Redden scores for Gronigan. I think they're going to have a good season with him up top. If you've got a goal scorer, I think you stand a chance. Come on, Nassi. 
Let's have a bit of magic, Busquets. I, I don't know if I like inverted wing backs. In fact, I, I've never liked inverted wing backs, but it worked in that. Oh, it worked in that last game, so we're going to stick with it. I feel like underlapping and inverted wing backs go hand to hand, so that's why I've gone with it. See if we can move the ball about a little bit better here and get it wide. I've always felt like we were better in wide positions and with inverted wing backs, it doesn't give us that width. Really like it if we could counter here. We definitely don't counter with pace. See, the wing back there being wide, I just felt was better, but he's brought him off central. But squares, Nassi. Oh, I'd love it if Nassi scored in this game. Any opportunity to have him on the pitch makes me happy. He's really going to be big for us in the future. Well, I can't say it's been the most exciting live con we've done in the history of this channel. Are we going to get a goal here? No, we're not. Yeah, it's been really, really dull. They've not done anything either. Um, we seem to be holding on to the ball most of the time, but just nothing. Nothing clear cut going forward. Very much an issue. Espinosa. I'd love for him to go on, Nassi. Espinosa. He can score from distance. Both of those players can score from distance, and I think that's probably our best chance. That and a set piece. Uh, of opening Sparta up here. Well, an extremely lacklustre first half. I'm mildly tempted to go two up top and just go absolutely gung-ho for it, but, I mean, if we're not losing, it's still not a terrible situation to be in. We've been the better of the two teams. We've had more of the possession. We've had more of the shots, but they've certainly not been better. Hmm. Let's hopefully have a better second half. Ajax are winning. AZ and PSV are drawing. How are Utrecht doing? They're drawing as well. So, hmm. Let's get... A, uh, let's get a goal. Let's tell some of these players off a little bit. Tell them that we want more. As per usual, tell them I'm not happy with them. Get the whip out. Not allowed to do that anymore, are you? Can't get the whip out. The worst thing that could happen here is we concede. The worst thing that could happen here, actually, is that someone actually has a decent chance. There we go, Espinosa, Adriano, who's not been involved in the match whatsoever. Ignacio and Adriano have both had games now where they just go missing, and that's a big shame. I'm thinking, going back to complete wing back, I'm in two minds. Espinosa puts it wide. Good opportunity, good chance. It's not good enough. Maybe we could go positive. We could even go attacking, couldn't we? I just think not having the whip. I know we're underlapping, but um, I feel like, look, we're so central. It's all well and good keeping possession, boys, but we need a goal. Let's move the ball forward here. Adriano in good space. What can he do? It's not bad. It's bad when it's your wing back, though, taking the shot, isn't it? Inverted wing backs will do that to you. I'm not none of the neither wing backs are particularly good at shooting, so that's a bit of a problem as well, isn't it? Are they gonna counterattack here? Well in. It's great. Move the ball uh, the ball forward now, boys. There's no one on, is there? Gonna make the change. Make that change. So Ignacio is on. We're going attacking. We're gonna try and win this game. I don't see any reason for us not to win this game. I feel like we're definitely the better team. Watch them score on the counter now. It's be very, very bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's better. Go on, Espinosa. Busquets. Busquets certainly hasn't um moved the ball around massively well. It was awful, wasn't it? It was awful. Very timid shot. We've taken uh, Busquets off as well, which I'm not hugely a fan of, but I, wanna, I want Unavar to get the game. Since making the changes, I feel like they've improved, not us. What can they do from this corner? Well in. Uh, Tadic has just scored for Ajax, and they score. This is, this is exactly why we shouldn't have changed. Damn it. I knew the the way the highlights are going, you can kind of tell when you're playing the game when the highlights start to just swing against you. They weren't really for anyone before, but if they were, it were it were on our side. But yeah, they just swung the other way there. We've made more changes. I'm not gonna go down easily. Okay, maybe we are gonna go down easily. A lot of time just passed there with absolutely nothing happening. Mm. I thought Unavara's shadow striker might work, but it's not looking like it's going to be fruitful for us, is it? There's absolutely not a single highlight. The game has just ended. They scored and nothing happened. 
I suppose that was always going to be the way in this game, wasn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what happens. They get a goal and then absolutely nothing happens in the game. That has been... It's been so painful. That's happened to me so many times on FM before as well. We made the change. I wanted to try Nasi as Shadow Striker. I mean, we were so, we were so much better than them. So much better than them. I shouldn't have changed things. It's lesson number one on FM. If you're not losing and you're not being absolutely battered, do not make changes. And we did. We went all out attack and, and they went and scored. Had two shots on target. I'm certainly telling them they're not good enough today. I'm not taking full blame for the tactical mistake there. I'm going to tell them off. Well, it still keeps us third in the league, but in hindsight, that was a really good opportunity to uh, give ourselves a little bit of a gap. PSV are climbing up the league very quick, beating AZ there. Oh, it's a massive shame. It really is a shame that we lost that. We should have just been accepting of the draw. This is one thing that I will do in series and I'll do when I'm managing a team is when you're performing really well, my expectations just rise ridiculously. And I start believing that we're a big team that should be beating the smaller teams. But in reality, us and Sparta are probably fairly on an even level. And I should have been quite accepting of a draw and a, and a boring game than just trying to take the attack to them and conceding a sloppy-headed goal. We're not great defensively anyway, so when we move ourselves out of position, we can easily be caught out, and that's exactly what happened. Well, I'm not going to get too downbeat and bitterly disappointed, but we're going to move forward now and play a few more games off camera. I'm not sure how far forward we're going to go. I mean, we might go back with Ajax or AZ, maybe another famous victory on camera, but the chances are it won't be. But maybe it's more likely to be AZ. I don't think coming back against Ajax away, I think that could be a, a really difficult game for me to do, um, especially live com, because... I don't like to lose on live com, and we already have. It's so frustrating. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode. It's been an absolute pleasure. I imagine this one's going to be a little bit shorter than the others, so I'm contemplating now maybe getting to a point where we do double live comms. I do feel with the first season you should try and kind of get through it because we start, start to implement changes and build the team and, and get better players in. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to go down the youth route and uh, pick up great youngsters. Uh, but yeah, smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you're new around here. There's a new series coming as well on Monday to the channel, which I'm quite excited about. But we're definitely going to carry on with FC20 and keep on getting the episodes up on quite a regular basis. I appreciate you all. Take care.